Hello everyone, it's MJ Simpson here uh, with a little quick um, unboxing or an enveloping video. As some of you know, I have for many years been working on a big detailed biography of the extraordinary actress Elsa Lanchester. Um, here she is, here's Elsa. And um, over the years I've collected many items of uh, relevant uh, ephemera, film stills, theatre films and so on. But this is just one of the most amazing things I've ever found. Uh, and it's just turned up and I want to share it with you because I think it's wonderful. Um, so uh, it's turned up in the post. I bought it from the Abe Books website. Uh, and uh, it's from a, uh, a place called Theatre Shire Books. We're based at Dacre Hall in North Yorkshire. So thank you very much, uh, Theatre Shire Books. And uh, what it is, won't look like much. It is this. Uh, it's a small small piece of paper. It's only one side. It's blank on the back and it's just got text on it. Uh, but this is something I never, ever thought I would see. It's a flyer for the Cave of Harmony. Now, that was a nightclub stroke cabaret, which Elsa Lanchester and Harold Scott ran in London in the 1920s. And it was... Um, kind of a bit let's do the show right here it was a bit it was very fringe it was a bit on guard um and it was the place to be seen everybody went there hg wells aldous huxley noel coward jacob epstein all the the, the fabulous writers and artists and actors uh, the bohemian london all went to the cave of harmony and it ran for a few years at three addresses first in charlotte street then gower street this one is at its last address which is um the great in uh, in seven dials and uh, it's dated, uh, it's for a couple of special shows on the 13th and 14th of January 1928. Um, and some point in 1928 was when the, uh, the Cave of Harmony closed down. So this is very late in the run. Um, and it's, it's very wonderful. It's for, um, what is this, Mrs. Dubellamy's Benefit Night, also with Mrs. Bricketts. Now, Mrs. Dubellamy and Mrs. Bricketts was a double act that Elsa did with her friend Angela Badley. The actress Angela Badley went on to be in lots and lots of other things. And, uh, she and Elsa had known each other since they were girls, um, and they did a lot of stuff in the 20s. And this was a, a, a routine where there were two uh, sort of cockney cleaning women who would do these uh, imp uh, improvised duologues uh, on sort of topical matters. It was decades ahead of its time. It's kind of a precursor of uh, things like Peter Cook and Dudley Moore, um, a Griff, uh, Reese Jones and Mel Smith, I guess in America, it would be some kind of Mike Nichols and Elaine May. These duologues, um, there's no actual record of them. There's no transcript. There's no recordings. Um, but this is obviously for, for sort of the last time that they did it. Um, and I don't honestly know, uh, whether Elsa was Mrs. Dubellamy or, or, or Mrs. Vickett. Um, but this is a, a, a very special thing that, which is 93 years old. Um, and, I, this is quite possibly the only one in existence. I mean, they, they, it's a flyer for a thing at this this sort of fringe cabaret nightclub thing. Um, I honestly never ever thought I would see an actual item from the Cave Harmony. It's not. This isn't like a theatre where they're printing up and selling two hundred programmes every night over the course of several months. This is just very very few things. I've seen one scan of one other flyer for the uh, for the cave of harmony i genuinely never thought i'd get my hands on anything like this um and uh, so it says uh, mrs dubellamy's benefit night and farewell appearance before swimming the serpentine uh for those of you in america the serpentine is a lake in one of london's parks supported by mrs bricketts who also intends to swim the serpentine so it's a little bit uh, um uh, a little bit zany uh grand variety program including angela badley elsa lanchester harold scott and also penelope spencer uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, I didn't realise she'd actually appeared at the cave. Penelope Central was a dancer. This is uh, early 1928. 1926 to 1927 was the time when Elsa became a big star. And what really made her a star was a, a review she was in called Riverside Nights, which I've just been writing up a chapter on for the book. And Penelope Spencer was a dancer who was in that review. Um, her main piece was uh, a routine to music by the, uh, the composer Lord Berners, uh, which was uh, called... Um, uh, funeral dance on the death of a, of a rich aunt, which gives you an idea of quite, quite what that was like. But I didn't realise she performed at the Cave of Harmony. This is just incredible. I genuinely never thought I would see. And it was it was three pounds. 
you know, I've, I've got film stills upstairs that I pay 20 or 30 pounds for, and this, they found, but I doubt if there's another one of these in existence in the world. So I'm, I'm just, I, I'm honestly speechless to discover that this exists and to get my hands on it. Uh, this is going into the collection, and I will get on with the, with writing the book. But that's, I just wanted to share this with you because that is, I know it's, it's like a small piece of paper. It hasn't even got a picture on it. But honestly, uh, in terms of researching Elsa's life, this is one of the most amazing pieces of primary evidence I've come up with so far. So um, I thought I'd share that with you. Thank you, Theatre Shire Books. Um, and uh, yeah, um, happy Christmas. <laughs>